What's going on everybody? Welcome to Firearm Friday number five. As advertised today, I'm out here shooting my shotgun for turkey season. I've got targets set up at 13, 26, and 45 yards. Now, there's so many variations to shotguns. I mean, when you go through all the shotguns and all the different loads and all the different chokes, it's endless. So I'm gonna show you what I shoot. This is my Escort 3-inch Magnum 12 gauge. It's their Extreme Magnum. And typically my favorite turkey load by far is a Hornady number five nickel-plated shot. This is my .711 reduction, extra full, it's ported. I'm also gonna be shooting the three-quarter choke, which is an improved, modified. Then I'll be shooting the standard factory full choke. One of these chokes I really feel is the best option. Now let's get to shooting. Okay, you guys, we're gonna start off with the extra full choke, shooting at all three targets. Okay, so the gun is clear, let's walk down. So here we are at 15 yards or 13 yards. This is about my most common shot. Basically, I've got a dead turkey with no head. I would have totally blown his head slap off. That's not what I'm looking for. So at close range, the extra full choke is probably a little too much. Come down here, this is 25 yards and I've got Oh man, a beautiful pattern. I mean, that's exactly what I'm looking for, right there. I've got a whole bunch, his head will be annihilated. He'll be dead for sure. Okay, so here we are at 45 yards. I would have had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. 11 shot would have killed this bird. Now, my guess is, yeah, you can see some of it hit low, but that's a pretty broad area, all spread out. It's good coverage. I don't know if I, I feel comfortable taking a 45 yard shot. Now, I know right now some of you guys are throwing sticks at the computer or maybe ready to throw your phone in the water because you say, I shoot them all day at 55 yards. And that's fine. You ain't me and I ain't you. You may say, that gun ain't no good and I would never shoot Hornady. That's fine. This is me. I'm not you. There's a gazillion different combinations out there. I typically shoot, you know, most of my birds are in that 20 to 25 yard range. Okay, so we know firsthand we can definitely kill them at 45. 25 is perfect. I mean, that turkey will be stone cold dead. I mean, the flop will be stopped. 15 yards, it's too tight. So now I'm gonna go back, put on new targets, and we will uh, repeat the process, see how we do. All right, you guys, so now it's time to change out our choke. With the extended choke, it's easy. You just grab the thing and make sure, this is probably the most important thing I can tell you all day, make sure when you're changing your chokes that your gun is empty and open because God forbid the gun were to go off right now, you'd be in deep doo-doo. Okay, I hope you guys could hear and see how smooth that was. That's because I use a product called Tef Gel. Now, don't be screaming that I'm promoting sponsors because they're not sponsors. This is just a product I've been using for a long, probably talking really loud. I've been using that product for a long, long time. Corrosion proof, it'll make the uh, chokes smooth as butter and they will never, ever, ever get stuck. All right, fire in the hole, you guys. Factory full choke, coming at you. Well, I can tell y'all right now that this factory full choke loves this number five. I mean, I... <sighs> I don't have a turkey now. I want to take a picture with my turkey before I eat him. You got nothing to take a picture of. You just got a body. We've even got a 
tighter pattern at 25 yards. I mean, that's incredible. 25 yards, that head will be in just turkey jello. Now, let's keep on coming down here to... We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. At least 19 pellets in the head. Beautiful coverage. Now, I am sure, with beyond a shadow of a doubt, I can kill that bird at 45 yards with a full choke. No question. Now let's see how we shoot with the improved modified, which is one step down, also known as a three quarter choke. Improved modified, number five's coming at you. Well, I'm sure I hit all three. Action's open, let's go take a look. Well, here we go. That's our improved modified. And, uh, I mean, that's a great pattern, but again, you lost the head of your turkey. Here we are at 25 yards. Still very, very, very deadly shot. I mean, that turkey will be graveyard bed graveyard at 45 yards believe it or not the turkey's still dead you've got one two three four five six seven you got seven lethal shots at 45 yards all three would kill the bird graveyard dead at all the ranges what do I feel most comfortable with I think it's the, I think it's just the uh, factory full choke. Factory full choke at 45 yards, you got your dead bird. I come to the conclusion that this extra full, whether it may be great with waterfowl shooting my steel shot, when it comes to this number five nickel plated lead, it seems the factory full choke really works well. Now I'm gonna get Uncle Larry, he's actually been here filming with me. I'm gonna get him in here and I'm gonna have him explain a few things to you about the factory full choke. But I also wanna tell you, don't be scared to take a couple chokes and a choke wrench or even a quarter hunting with you. Sometimes those birds will move back in, back in the brush, like back in the oaks, back in the Palmetto Flats where the longest shot I may have may only be 15, 20 yards tops. Well, what will I do? I'll pull out just a, a improved cylinder or a cylinder screw it in real quick and sit down start calling bird comes in pow i can shoot him have a nice big open spread i'm not going to rip his head off or if i'm using a scoot and shoot and i'm trying to scoot up on him out in the middle of the field where i know the bird's going to run up i'm gonna shoot him at five yards i don't want to shoot him with a full choke i want to shoot him with as open a choke as possible so take a few chokes stick them in your pocket due to the practice you've put in on the range, you know which one you need for a given circumstance, a given situation. Now, if, if I only had to use one, it would be the factory full choke, and I'll leave it at that. But there's a reason to have several different chokes in your bag. The more prepared you are, the more likely you'll be successful in the woods. Now, Larry's gonna give you his thoughts on the full choke. And I hunted back in the day when we used lead shot a lot. I've experimented with all kinds of different chokes, all kinds of different loads, patterned them since I was 16 years old. And I can tell you this, when it comes to chokes, we have the different chokes set up for a reason. That's why we have the full choke, the modified, improved cylinders. All these have been proven over the years with different type shot. And my point is, you gotta go out and you gotta check your gun. If you don't, you have no idea what it's doing. So many times in the past, especially waterfowl hunting, duck hunting, I've seen people buy extra full chokes, expensive aftermarket chokes, go out and hunt with them. They don't kill birds, they wonder what happens. They've never done the trial and error of patterning these shotguns. So many times, so many times, I found that factory chokes 
seem to work better than the extra full tightened ported chokes. And you never know unless you go out there and try. So just like Robert's doing here today for turkey hunting, you got to go out there and see what your gun's doing. Then you're really confident about your shot. When that duck's out there at 35 yards, you want to know you can kill him stone dead or let him pass. And the only way to do that is go out there and shoot it. Pattern it, try it. Besides going to the clay range and shooting a bunch as well. So right. that's my tip for the day. And y'all just thought he saw it on the couch and played poker on his computer. <laughs> As a good friend, I consider all of you like family. I love you and I appreciate you. Please subscribe and be a part of the channel. There's so much more to come. We'll say it. We're out. <laughs> <laughs> we gone. <laughs>